just minding my own business and look at what we have here looks like a bmw m4 competition oh dme tuning eh a little dme tuning on there i think it's nice i wonder if you want to do you want to have a run or something let's see let's see YouTube, what's the deal? It's Moose. I'm back with another video, and in today's video, the topic is how fast is a full bolt on BMW M4. So, as y'all can see, I got my 2022 BMW M4 competition right behind me, and my car is not really the ordinary BMW M4 competition. You know, my car got a little kick to it. We got some M Life sauce on my car. Shout out to my guy Rick over at M Life Auto Care. I'm gonna break down what we got done to the car and. Uh, give y'all horsepower figures on my car specifically and what you can kind of expect with the mods I got so without further ado let's get into it and the video is sponsored by me guys if y'all want some carbon fiber bits on your car come check out motivomotoring.com I'm gonna get y'all together we got real high quality stuff on the website <clears throat> at a good price so check me out all right guys so we got the supercar killer uh, in front of me here, this is my 2022 BMW M4 competition. Like I said, the video was sponsored by me. So that lip right there is a Motivo motoring lip. So if y'all like this lip, check me out on the website. Really good price on the lip as well. We got all the other styles y'all want. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is my BMW M4 competition. A lot of you guys probably seen this car somewhere like on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or whatever. And y'all didn't even recognize it was my car. But this car basically, if you ever seen the video um, with it in the Ferrari 488, racing a 488, this is the car that was racing the 488 and smoked it. If you ever seen a video of this car against the Lamborghini Aventador, a chrome one, that's my car. So we know the performance is there. I'm gonna also drop the clips of those videos in this video as well. So just a normal M4 comp, the real wheel drive one actually, this isn't an all wheel drive. So, you know, with all this power, the only thing putting it down to the road at the moment is these 285 Pirelli P0 tires. Excuse them being dirty. We got a different set of wheels though. So I'm gonna be hopefully hooking better. As y'all will see in this video, my car does not hook for nothing. So what comes with a full bolt-on BMW M4, you might ask? It's actually not that much. I basically just have on this car a downpipe, a tune, a flex fuel kit, which I'll pop the hood and show you guys, and port injection. So it's not really that much going on got the white interior which I'll get into in a bit as well excuse the noise by the way if that's uh if y'all can hear it it ain't nothing too much going on as y'all can see it really looks stock to the untrained eye there's nothing really here to see the only giveaway probably is that that's just a kit for the e-content and whatnot but yeah, this car is just, it has a flex fuel kit, a tune, port injection, and downpipes, right? That's the M Life Stage 2 package. And with the custom tune and everything, 
these cars are just such a capable platform i make about right under 800 wheel horsepower i make 780 ish horsepower so a lot of people can't block her when i say 900 horsepower m4 right <laughs> so if you really think about it technically this is a 900 horsepower car right because i make 700 So people get butthurt about it, which I don't understand. This car isn't slow by any means. So it's a 900 crank horsepower car, you know? So, um, yeah, it's crazy. I'm on stock turbos, stock transmission, stock everything. Just basically just those four parts alone give me 900 crank horsepower. And uh, it's enough horsepower to have the local Hellcat stuck in me, you know? <laughs> Every time someone in the hellcat finds out that my car be such and such here they don't want no problems with me so when you get a g82 that's full bolt on there's gonna be a lot of people ducking y'all you know so definitely though stay tuned to uh to the channel we're gonna be upgrading these headlights soon i just gotta figure out where i'm gonna get the laser lights from i'm not a big fan of the design on these lights i think that's the like my number one thing i dislike about this car but other than that it's a great vehicle i got it lowered at the moment on some K kw uh springs with some spacers on the front and uh rear wheels so got got a decent little stance to it i'm also be dropping the rear a bit more i think the rear can come down a little bit more so the fitment is like nice and flush right and then we got a set of wheels, like I said. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel because we're going to be giving y'all some real heat soon. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to be doing a whole carbon kit on the car. Already put the diffuser on as well. That diffuser you can get from MotivoMotoring.com. And then I'm going to also add the extensions. I just got to figure out what style I want to go with, guys. I kind of don't want to rush it. And I kind of want to figure out what specifically I want out of the car. So... Once we get that figured out, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that. But yeah, all, all, all that horsepower is just basically off of four simple mods. And uh, I'm gonna give y'all a drive as well, right? I'm not just gonna tell y'all about the karma. Drive in, show you guys what's going on. Hopefully this video comes out decent. It's a little bit hard driving and, and uh, taking a video at the same time. All right. definitely feel it stepping out i don't know how i get out of here honestly i was like a quarter of a throttle maybe you know what let's go ahead and i rarely fully turn that traction off so y'all gonna see like this car is a handful bro Like, this is a car I would not let my friends drive, you know, just toss them the keys and tell them half at it. Because that wasn't even me flooring it, and the car was getting crazy loose. So, like I said, you got to show this car respect, because if you don't, it will kill you. But yeah, right now I'm just got it on 93. I'll also show you guys because that's probably something y'all would want to see. Is there an exit here? All right. So to check your E85 fuel content with the flex fuel kit, all you got to do is basically half press this thing and it shows you. So right now I had a little bit of E in the car before, but I just filled it up. So I'm basically on uh, E20, which honestly is just 93. It's like 93 with a kick and um so stay tuned i'm gonna make another video running this car on e85 i honestly didn't see the point of having this car on e right now because i can't even get traction while the weather's nice and warm and my tires are hot so me trying to get traction in the winter on e was just pointless Yeah, so like I said, guys, this car does not hook for nothing. I need some drag tires on the back 
thinking maybe go with the NT Triple Five R2 or a uh, Mickey Thompson ET Street. I'm still deciding if I want to go ahead and put a set of uh, like if I want to do a drag pack on the rear or not. I really don't like drag packs. It's just not my thing. I kind of like the clean look and I want to be low key with it. So that's why I'm like 50-50 on getting a, a drag pack. But we'll see though. But yeah, the interior is definitely one of my favorite things about the car. It's a huge step up from my, my old car's interior. I had a 2016 BMW M4. So the generation before this. And that was like the first real quick car I had. So you know i have high standards though that interior on that car even though that car is pretty old um it's just such a nice interior and it's held up great <laughs> you gotta focus up when you drive this car bro i'm telling y'all honestly i should just kick it in like automatic Uh, let it be excuse the the video is a little bit shaky uh, I, must, I apologize for that damn damn shit it's all over the place oh my god I even realized the speed I was going god damn this car is a missile bro <laughs> yeah so moral of the story though do not let your friends drive a car like this guys this car will kill you damn i can't get in front of dude i tried it yeah this car is insane guys like i would 100 percent not let anyone drive this car even in MDM mode, this car is like ridiculous. You see on the highway how it's like all over the place and the tires are decently warmed up. They're not like warm, warm, but it's ridiculous, bro. First gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, forget about it. <laughs> like fourth gear is when you finally start to kind of get a bit of traction. And every time I drive this car, it's honestly insane like I, I every time i drive this car and push it i cuss it's like a insane experience bro like the power of this car is crazy and i've driven some fast stuff before i've driven uh four if8s i've driven four uh f12s Lambos, you name it. I've driven a lot of cars, Hellcats, and nothing feels like this car. I, I only car I've driven that I'd say is quicker, but didn't even feel as dramatic was the uh, what's it called, the SF90. But this car is just way more dramatic because it's real wheel drive. You got all that horsepower and no all-wheel drive system and a pretty basic traction control system. The traction control system on this car is not anything like really sophisticated. It's just bare minimum. It gets the job done, but isn't anything exceptional, right? So oftentimes to really get some power out of this car, you gotta cut it off or at least have it in MDM mode, which is, I think, the sweet spot. Me, personally, I don't cut the traction off on this car because I I think I'm a good driver, but it's just too much risk to have that traction off on this car because you're not on the track. You're on normal streets, and on normal streets, there's humps, there's divots, there's, there's flaws on normal streets. So if you have that traction control fully off, you might be a good driver, but... You might get unlucky. You might hit a hump on the road. And if your car is stepping out, losing traction like how this car does, and you hit one of those humps, it's, um, you know, it's pretty dangerous. And that's not a situation I personally want to be in. It's 
a damn missile. So yeah, I had a <laughs> ownership of this car has been pretty rocky. So basically when I got the car, the, I had to replace the transmission on it like shortly after. But um, other than that though, it's been a great car hopefully and knock on wood, I don't really have no more issues with it. I think it was just the tune that was on my transmission was a little bit too aggressive maybe and maybe it was just flawed from the factory or something because the car from what i'm seeing it's not a common thing on these cars for the transmission to go out now if this was like something that was known to happen then i'd be like okay you know just be careful of that with the the g80 platform but that's not something that's common so i wouldn't even really be too concerned about it if i was uh looking to buy one i think it's just from what i was seeing i think it's just me who had like that issue with their trans so it's probably something on my end um and it's probably my fault in some way so yeah the cars other than that been a flawless car can't say enough good things about this car and this platform in general and uh in my opinion this is bmw's this is bmw's best platform they've ever come out with when you think of the numbers these cars do when you think of the handling and just how capable the g80 platform and the s58 motor is it's hard to deny like it's the best in my opinion it's the best and, and you know bmw has a lot of good platforms that they've come out with they've got a lot of excellent cars this right here is the best i don't think it's up for debate you know the m5 platform is cool i think a lot of people overhype the m5 the m5 is a really nice car and it's a good car for its size and what it is but it just does not compete with the g80 platform this is a whole different animal one complaint i have about this car though even if you're driving it normal and you don't buy one of these cars for this but the gas mileage is terrible for this being an inline six owner and you think a newer inline six would have um better gas mileage and stuff you would expect at least decent gas when you're driving normal gas mileage but no that's not the case that was like a quarter throttle i kid you not you can't floor this car everywhere i'm telling you um but yeah that's not the case honestly the um gas mileage on this car is horrible it's worse than my um old m4 my old m4 if i was driving it on the highway and cruising i've gotten it up to 28 miles per gallon tuned and i had it up to i want to say 32 or 31 when it was on uh at stock tune and everything so it just goes to show you like this car i probably got it to like 25 or 24 and the moment i floor it or get on it <laughs> it's gonna be in the teens i think on average i probably get um if i'm not going too crazy i'll probably get like 14 miles to the gallon on average so yeah it's pretty bad like i said though e85 on this car it's a whole different animal if that's something you guys want to see Is, uh, this car on E85 subscribe to the channel as soon as the weather gets better I'm gonna fill it up with E and we're gonna redo this video and I'm gonna give you guys a POV drive of this car on E85 because like I said it is completely different this car on 93 compared to E85 feels team like it feels slow honestly and um, I'd say probably E85 if I had to take a guess when I run this car on full E, I probably get an extra 150 horsepower or so, 120 maybe, um, extra to the wheel. So that makes a huge difference. Like the way this car is pulling and, right, and stuff right now, it doesn't even compare. All right, guys, so we got the car all washed up now. It's looking a lot more presentable. Black's hitting real nice. And uh, yeah, 
I apologize for the angle. I just reviewed some of the footage while I was getting the car washed. And it's kind of hard to see the road in some of the footage. So I apologize for that. I'm gonna probably go ahead and get a GoPro, I'm thinking. And uh, use that for future videos. So yeah, guys, uh, bear with me as we figure this YouTube thing out. <laughs> um, but shoot, this car is all nice and clean now. It looks a lot better clean, actually. This car is a uh, is a monster, guys. For the money you spent on this car, there's really not much beating it, in my opinion. The only car you can compare this car to, like I said in a previous video, is the Mustang GT500. GT500 also is a weapon, especially when you uh, tune them and whatnot and modify them. That's the only car that's comparable to the M4 under a hundred thousand dollars obviously the argument is always oh what I can build a C8 or not a C8 a C5 for like 40 grand 30 grand and make it like 1200 horsepower obviously you can do that but if you really think about it when you really start building up a car like that it all just comes down to who's willing to spend more money um but i'm talking about just mod for mod simple bolt-ons and like performance numbers from those bolt-ons you really can't beat this car I think we should uh reduce the burbles so yeah hey i appreciate you guys though this is where i'm gonna end the video so if y'all enjoyed the video man go ahead and drop the like uh comment give me some feedback or just comment tell me whatever you want to tell me i'm gonna check the comments if y'all got any questions or anything let me know i'm gonna also answer them for you and uh yeah we're gonna go from there i appreciate y'all y'all stay safe and be easy peace